I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hi, my name is Les Brown. I'm Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy. You have something special. You have greatness within you. I'm talking to you live from Los Angeles. Let me let you see my daughter. This is Ona. Okay. And yes, this is Bree. This is Judy. This is Sean. The Royal Way. This is my son, John Leslie. And this is Manny the Man Lopez. You have something special. You have greatness within you. It's a beautiful day today. Now, Sean said something to me the other day that really grabbed me. I said, Sean, do I still have it? She said, Les, there's still water in your well. Come on now. I got excited about that. Just because you're your 70th year on the planet does not mean you don't still have your mojo working. Listen to me. You have something special, and one of the things that you must do to demonstrate your specialness every day is to live each day to the fullest. Live full, die empty, challenge yourself, become a risk taker. This God said, if you're not willing to risk, you can't grow. And if you can't grow, you can't become your best. And if you can't become your best, you can't be happy. And if you can't be happy, then what else is there? You have something special. You have greatness within you. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. This is Les Brown. This is Mamie Brown's baby boy. Manny, what do I do now? <laughs> hey there. Thanks for joining me here on a very special edition of Power Elite Systems PLS Tips with Manny. I'm your host, as always, Manny the Man Lopez. And today we have something very unique. I'm going to share with you guys the reasons why women love christian gray yes that 50 shades of gray character that uh women just seem to be loathing them themselves over um and i know why all right so i was i watched the movie over the weekend with my wife uh it was valentine's day and of course i've got to go ahead and do it big so we went to one of those dining theaters where you can sit down in those big comfy lungy chairs and get uh served alcohol and uh, food and all that kind of stuff versus just popcorn and soda. So uh, that was pretty exciting. It was the first time doing that. And um, so, well, let's just jump right in because, you know, with my, my training each week, I give you guys some new marketing strategies on promoting yourself on social media, mobile marketing, video marketing, networking events, expos, email. I mean, there's many, many different ways that you can find customers or grow your network. And uh, I want to show you guys some of the mental capabilities that will help you and understanding this Christian gray character is really going to get you to understand how to run your business as well because basically if you look at the story if you guys don't know who this Christian gray character is he's a 27 year old billionaire now I'm a 27 year old thousandaire <laughs> so for me I, I, I saw a lot of similarities right off the bat the guy's an orphan um, very reserved I'm not really reserved I guess too much once you get to know me, uh, if we go to a meeting and I haven't been there and I don't know anybody there, best believe I'm the most reserved person at that event. I'm the one who looks back and just does a little looking around, right? And <laughs> doesn't talk to nobody. So, well, let's jump right in. So Christian Gray, this guy, uh, he's a 27-year-old billionaire, uh, very mysterious, uh, doesn't really smile too often, um, rough childhood, you know, a lot of that kind of stuff. So... The story goes as this girl, she is covering for her friend who's sick and she's got to go interview this guy uh, whose name is Christian Gray, billionaire guy for this magazine or something that, or, or some, some type of publication that she's writing about. And so she gets in there and she meets this guy and of course she falls all in love with him. He's so cute and handsome, blah, blah, blah. And um, one of the things that she really likes about him is that he's very demanding, not demanding, but controlling. Okay? He knows exactly what he wants. He's not the guy who doesn't know his life path. This guy knows his life path. He knows straight to a T exactly what is going to happen day one to day 90 over the next year, next five years. He's got a plan. Okay, Keep in mind that for a business, okay, if you want women to loathe you, okay, not the same, same way for women or flip the other way. If you want not necessarily men to loathe you, uh, you know, you have to look at this part as, you know, Christian Grey, you have that mentality of the women love 
lust, all that kind of stuff. But then you have to look at it on the business side, okay? The qualities that this man has that the women love after is what you need in your business. And I'm going to explain in just a second. So back to the story. He goes in and uh, he's, you know, she doesn't give him the responses that he's used to, okay? Uh, she's getting, you know, asking him questions outside of norm. Um, you know, he's she's not going the cookie cutter route, okay? She's not being typical, basically. And the same thing with, with her to him. He's not being typical of a man to her. So it's just intriguing him. It's intriguing her. Same thing, concept in your business. You have to do something that's different, something that's unique that not everyone else is doing. If you look like a cookie cutter type of business that everybody else has, there's nothing that's going to differentiate you from your competitors. And that's what's really getting this guy so much um, attention is He's doing it differently. He's not the norm. He's not the guy who's going to take you out on a date uh, into the movies and hold your hand, right? He's, he's totally different and it's mysterious. To women, they want to understand that, okay? People want to understand your business. They want to understand you. If you make it too complicated, if you make it too you know, repetitive or too cookie cutter to another business that's out there that's just like you, they're going to be like, okay, well, you're just like them. There's nothing different from you. Move on, right? If you have something that's mysterious, if you have something that's different, okay? One of the cool things about this guy is that he has all these like NDAs, non-disclosure agreements that he makes the woman sign before he even shows them certain things, right? So, you know, that kind of thing is, is what really got her intrigued was she saw that he was really weird in the way that he starts a relationship. He talks to a relationship. He does this types of things. And it was totally out of the norm, but got her coming back and back and back for more. So the same thing you can do with your business, okay? Leave yourself a little mysterious. Don't go out there and just let everything out there on the front end, okay? Leave something that's going to have unanswered questions, okay? You want to put stuff out there that gets them to say, what, really? Well, I want to learn, I want to fit in, I want to learn more about that, what you're just talking about. Let me get in contact with you directly. Let me ask you a question. Let me comment on your video, your post. That type of thing where you get people to interact with you. you got to get people to take action. If you give them everything out on front, they're not going to take action. Okay, It's just like going to, um, let's try to use an analogy here that, that could work well. So it's kind of like, let's just use, I mean, kind of we're on the Christian grade subject. Let's just use, let's say you're a man, okay? And you're in a room full of women, okay? And all of, there's all these different women that are coming up to you and talking to you or whatever, right? And, or let's just say, let's put this in a more realistic mindset. Let's say you're a woman and you walk into um, a group full of men, right? All these men are throwing themselves at you, okay? But you're not gonna notice that one. You're gonna notice the guy who's maybe looking at you from afar, that maybe smiles, or doesn't, you know, the guy who's making himself mysterious, not the guy that's going out to throwing himself out there saying, hey, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm going to help you this, I'm going to do this, blah, blah, blah. No, you're going to pay attention to the guy who's maybe walked by and, and, and gave you just a little comment, okay, that didn't give you that, oh, I'm in love with you comment, but, you know, something different, you know, it's just something that is not the norm, okay, when you do that, you can make yourself stand out. Okay, that's really the mindset of this guy is he makes him stand out, makes himself stand out because he do things, he does things differently. He does things out of, of character, of, out of what normal people would do. And you have to do that with your business. Okay, if you have a business, make sure that when you're going out there, that if you're talking to someone about it, you leave more answers, no, no more questions than answers. You want to get them to start asking you about your business. You want to get them to start looking to you as a resource. They want to know that you can be the one that can provide that answer for them by letting them know certain things, right? So for me, I like the fact of, uh, of going out there and, and being something that is different from my competitors. I don't do, you know, the same thing that people in my industry do. I find something that's unique. I provide a service or a value that is um, unlike any other. I do my videos a lot differently than most people do. I brand myself a lot differently than most people do. I promote myself online a lot differently than most people do. You know, because for me, I want to be the one that stands out. I want to be the one that when they see my name, they know who I am and they recognize that I'm somebody different. I'm like, oh, that's, you know, they can't look at me and say, hey, Manny is just like 
They can't. There's nothing out there that is going to say, Manny is just like this. I don't want to be that guy. And a lot of people do. They want to be that guy that says, oh, well, you're doing this. Let me do that exactly the same way you're doing it. You know, some for some people that works to be just a cookie cutter type of business and, you know, they're happy with, you know, just putting along in their business. But you have to find something that is uniquely you. And if you want to be a leader in your industry, then you have to provide something of value that is outside the normal realm of what other people are offering. Because if you just regurgitate what everybody's saying, people are going to catch on to that. Okay, well, obviously he just does a lot of research and he repeats what a lot of what other people say. And that's what most people do. You know, they, they go and they repeat what everybody says. But to be the one that's different is the one that puts your own spin on it. The one that can add value to that statement and explain why that statement and simplify the affected meaning of that statement versus just repeating what it, hey, well, this person said this, and I like that. Well, no, that doesn't really going to give you value. That gives that person value. Okay, well, let me focus on that person. That's where he's getting his mentorship from versus being able to repeat that statement and say, here's why that statement is exactly why I do things the way I do, or this is why I've taken that and I added to it, and here's how I added to it. Again, you've got to be different. You've got to be unique. Okay, um, that's one thing I wanted to highlight for you guys is really why women love Christian Gray. He's a mysterious guy. He knows how to control what he wants, and that's another thing in your business. You need to have control. You need to have a set vision and say, "This is what I'm going to do over this set period of time, or this set." Um, amount of hours that I'm working with or this amount of clients that I'm going to be talking to you got to have a set goal a set vision and run with it you can't deviate from that plan yeah there's going to be hiccups here and there on the road and you're going to have to kind of adjust to it and, and conform to it to make sure that you're still staying on your path but you got to make sure that your end vision is still the main vision okay don't alleviate from that like mine my, my vision is to create eight six-figure earners this year with my brand so I'm going to do that. I'm going to focus on making eight six-figure earners this year. And that's that's the focus. And I have a way to do it. I have my set number structured way to do it. And I've just got to get as many people I can into that plan because it's a numbers game. The more people I get in there, I'm going to get that diamond in the rough that will take the advice I give them and run with it and take it and actually take action on it. So that's the thing that I've, I'm working with on my end. Um, so it's something that on your end, as your business, just understand that you have to be unique. Okay, you have to have a set vision and a goal, and you have to be controlled in the effect that nothing on the outside can deviate you from your plan, deviate you from your vision. Okay, I've got phone calls coming in. All right, so uh, that is, I think, a great way to kind of build on your business is really understanding, you know, how to structure yourself to where people attract to you. Okay, most people are out there trying to spam everybody. You know, they're out there, you know, putting out uh, solo ads or they're putting out Facebook posts or, you know, growing their network by shaking hands with people at events. You know, there's there's great ways to do things and there's ways to automate and build value. Um, so you can do a lot of the late work on your end and going out there, meeting people, shaking hands and doing your business one by one. Make sure you're utilizing the power lead system to duplicate those efforts by everybody that you have a chance to talk to. You're sending them somewhere that can capture their information. Send them somewhere to capture their email or their phone number or whatever information that you're looking to grab. And so I use the Power Lead system on many fronts for all of my different business opportunities that I have, all the different products and services that I offer. And it allows me to really consolidate everything into one system. I can go in there and I can pick a drop down and I can say, okay, let me look at all my leads from this group. And I could go and print out all the leads from that group and ex you know export them, extort, <laughs> extort them. Uh, export them into a CSV format to where I can give them to my team and they can start making calls on all those leads. So I really like the fact that the Power Lead system really gives me the ability to do all those types of things and really help me manage and control my business because I have things that I do on a daily basis that if I didn't have a set structured system in place, I'd fail. I'd fail miserably. You know, just like uh, Marcus Lamona says, you got to have three things in your business, people, processes, and product. Okay. You're the person. You're the people of your brand. Okay, You need to go out there and make sure that they love you. If you're boring, do not be boring. Find something that makes you happy and share it. People love to see what makes people happy, right? Because they want to be happy too. They can see somebody's happy doing this. Well, let me try this as well. 
my wife does this all the time. She's always walk, looking at Instagram and Facebook and looking at things that people are doing and saying, oh, that looks so much fun. I want to do that. Oh, that looks exciting. I want to try that. Oh, that looks like it worked. I'm going to try that. I want to buy that. It's always something that other people are doing that they see and they say, wow, that is something I want to do or that's something that I want to learn how to do or something. So make sure that you're being fun, you're being exciting, you're being happy. If you're sitting there being boring and depressed and talking about how crappy your life is, you're just going to get unfollowed. You're going to get people that just don't want to even follow you anymore. They don't want to pay attention because it's like, who wants to sit at a pity party all day? I don't. I sure as hell don't want to have people surrounding me that are just depressed all day. I'll uplift them as much as I can, but if I can and they're just stay stuck in negative Nancy, then you got to go. I'm sorry. I, I can't keep surrounding myself with people that are negative. And, you know, you, you have to understand that you, your mindset and the people that you surround yourself with is what's going to mold you into what you are going to be. If you want to continue being a person who stays in the negative mindset that everybody is out to get them, you know, it only works for some people, not for them. You're going to have those results. But if you have the results mindset of this is my time. I'm doing this now. I'm going to be fan. I'm just going to get my my clientele up to this many numbers in this amount of time. I'm going to do it. Nothing's going to stop me. And then you commit to plans of action that take those steps. It's going to happen for you. It's that simple. Look at me. I I I'm an orphan. I'm a guy who who should have been sitting in a jail cell. Who should have been sitting playing on the streets and just doing nothing. But I found a woman who set me on the right path. I started a family. Saw that this family, this little child looked up to me. And I know you guys can probably see some of this. But as you can see from these trophies that I've added in here, this is all from one company that I used to work for right before. Um, all these started in 2008. Okay, it was 2008, 2000, 200,000 Club and uh, Salesman of the Year. And 2008 is where I really came into my own. My, my firstborn uh, had just been born in November of 2007. And at that point, I knew. I knew well, when she was pregnant. I knew I, it was time to kick it into high gear. It was, look, you have a family to support now. In November, that baby is coming. By January, you know, you should be at a position of wealth. You should be a position of power, position of security in your life because you have a family to feed now. So November came, December came, January hit and I was number one and I stayed number one for 10 months in a row. I destroyed all the records in the company. You know, we broke $200,000 in sales um, and the only one in the company that entire year that did that many in sales. No one was even close. You know, the closest one was like 40 thousand away uh, from from the sales that I had done so it was a it was a pretty decent year for me but it was also a year for me that I understood that I could not no longer build somebody else's dream I had been told every morning come in do this do this do this and you're gonna get this every morning for two years straight do this do this do this you're gonna get this everybody that's at this point has done this this and this to get there so what I did is I came in and I told him, okay, well, I'm going to do this, this, and this, because I want this. From day one, I told him, I want to be here at a position of leadership. I want to manage a team. I want to run a floor. I want to do something where I'm not just a sales guy. I've been doing sales for, since what, for four years at that time. And it was, uh, I'm not a patient guy, as you guys can tell. Um, you know, I see something and I'll put commitment into it for as long as I see value. And I saw value for a long time with this brand. I was doing very well. I was number one of the company, making more money than anybody in the company. And um, I was doing pretty good. The problem though is that you get fed every day, the same thing, do this, do this, do this, this will happen. And then it doesn't happen. And then it's like a slap in the face of like, man, all this hard work for nothing to be just thrown out there. So. I made the decision at that point, like, look, I, I can no longer build someone else's dream. I walked away from a six-figure income, and I uh, I decided to make my own way. I literally, I mean, threw it all, threw my eggs in one basket. I started my own brand, started my own company, started my own lead generation agency. I mean, and uh, and now we're here. And it was not an easy path by all any means whatsoever. I mean, there's plenty of times the bank account was negative. 
You know, I've been kicked out on the street. I've been um, cars repossessed, uh, evicted. I mean, you name it. I've, I've been through it. So it's definitely a hard road to get to where I'm at today, but definitely worth it. It's a point where now I can, you know, look at my family and not have to worry where my next meal is coming from. I don't have to worry that the car payment got paid. I don't have to worry about the rent being paid. I don't have to worry about this stuff because I put in the hard work. I put in the dedication. I saw a vision and I went after it. I made a decision to say, no, I will not let people tell me no. Not going to happen anymore. I'm going to find a way, whichever way that's going to happen. And I just kept doing it. You know, I kept getting obstacle after obstacle. And to people telling me, no, go find a real job, go get paid hourly, you got a family support, you got to make sure that there's security there, just go get a government job or something. That's not me. I, I don't do security. I do risk. I do opportunity. I do um, make my own way. You know, I, I can't continue to let other people dictate my life. I only get one. You only get one. You don't get to control, control anybody else's life, at least you know, kids, at least, <laughs> I control my kids, so, uh, at least till they're 18. Anyone that's 18 and over, and it's not your kid, you're typically not controlling their life. You know, you're letting them decide their own thing. Uh, you can tell them all the want, what they want them to do, but they're still going to make their own decisions. So, for me, I decided to live happy and live to what I want to do. And that wasn't to go and work for somebody else, building their dream for 10 hours a day. That's not me. Me is doing my own way, putting my own path, creating my own product, and doing something that I love to do. And now I'm doing that. And I'm happy. I got a beautiful family. I'm, as always, as you know, if anybody's talking to me, I'm too blessed to be stressed. I just love life. I have, you know, everything that I could ask for right now. And and I obviously have my own goals. I have everything that I need in place for my next five to ten years. But I'm on that path. I'm staying committed to it. And I see the end vision. It's there. It's getting there. You know, so stick with it, guys. Uh, and gals, um, you know, a lot of people that are watching this video today uh, really wanted to see what this crazy topic would be about. And, you know, really, I I watched that movie and I just saw so much of me and this guy. How, uh, obviously, not that dominatrix kind of stuff. I don't do any of that. But um, just the way he carries himself and the way he's committed to a plan of action and a vision that he says, this is how it's going to be. And, you know, there's only certain things that can deviate that from it. And it has to be something that's more valuable than what that end goal would be to make a decision change. And you have to understand that when you're making a set vision, okay, you have a vision for your business, right? Let's say a five-year plan that you want to have this much helped or this many people that you've blessed or whatever the end goal would be, okay? If you're on that path of five years, okay, and you get a bump at the end of the road that says we need to go this way now make sure if you plan to deviate from that plan that five-year plan look at that end goal that you originally looked for does that detour make that end goal still possible does it make it more valuable does it make it more incentivized you know you have to look at that you understand that when you make a turn in your business that could change things a lot. I've made some di difficult decisions in my life that have drastically transformed the way I do business, the way I meet people, the way I talk to people. So you have to understand that the plans that you make or the deviations that you make, the detours that you make in your business, they do have repercussions. So make sure if you have a plan of action and a goal and you're making a path decision, that you make sure that path decision does not alleviate the end goal that you have. All right, guys? So. Thanks for joining me here, guys. I hope you had a good time this week. As always, you are too blessed to be stressed. I will see you next week, each Wednesday, 6 o'clock uh, Pacific time, 9 o'clock Eastern time. So join me here. Um, if you are a Power Lead System member, get this to your team so we can keep them motivated. Again, I don't want guys to jump teams or anything like that. I want you guys to grow as a family. We don't need to have people jumping teams. We have a Facebook group over 10,000 members. Anytime somebody needs help, they call the group and they've got Neil Guest, the owner of the system. They got me, they've got Doc Bravo, they've got John, you know, Adams. They got all these different people that could help you in, you know, positioning yourself or getting marketing and advertising, getting help setting up your systems and your landing pages and your campaigns. You don't need the upline that you have to answer all the questions for you. You don't need it, okay? You have the Facebook groups, okay? So, because I've been getting a lot of people asking me, like, oh, well, you do these tips and you link it to your stuff. And I'm like, 
Well, I only share my link, the PLS Tips link, to actual affiliates, people that are utilizing the product. So I want you guys, if you're promoting this to people that are not to the Power Lead System, use my share code, okay? It's 201-426-PLSTIPS. Very simple, guys. Uh, it should be in the video as well in the description box. I'm going to make sure that's in there so you guys have that PLS tip share code uh, and start using it. Using it, um, share it with your team because I just want to make sure that people that come to this video and these trainings, they get tips and strategies on how to grow their business, whether it be Power Lead System or any other business they have outside of it. But it's a way for you guys to really understand how to use online and offline tools to grow your business, whether it be mindset training, whether it be tips and strategies on actual tools and resources. I've got everything that you guys can need. I've worked with over 500 brands worldwide. I've got clients on six continents. I've worked with people like Les Brown. I've been featured on Bloomberg Radio, NBC Radio. I mean, I've got the name recognition in the industry for me to show you guys how to do it the right way. I've seen guys fail. I've seen guys succeed. I've worked with guys living on food stamps. I've worked with guys that are millionaires. You've got all aspects of the spectrum here, guys. And I want to show you how it works and how to be successful. Okay, I generated over 7,000 leads in my power lead system in 2014. And guess how much I spent on advertising? Zero. Zero dollars. I spent zero dollars in advertising. A lot of it was networking events, expos, uh, trade shows, um, video marketing, mobile marketing. You know, the things that I tell you guys how to do. So you guys want to learn how to do these things? Watch these videos, guys. Go to the PLS Tips training. Go to my YouTube channel and, and get you know acclimated with the PLS Trips videos. All of these things, guys, are resources for you for free, absolutely free. I don't want a dime from you, okay? I just want to see you being successful because if you're successful, it's going to breed more successful people. And if we have more successful people, that means there's more money in the world. More money means more money for me, more money for you, more money for everybody. And everybody can be happier because they can bless more people. It's not about, oh, I have more money. No, it's more money because you can use that money to do things. You can use that money to buy advertising and grow your network. You can use that money to bless people and give more to your church. You can use that money to bless people in your local neighborhoods and outreach programs. Use the sources that you guys can get, the resources, and put them to use. Utilize that to generate wealth and take that wealth and bless people. Do what you love. Do your passion. You may just love collecting baseball cards. You may like buying gold and silver like I do. You know, so there's many things that you can do with the money and the blessings that you have. You can take your family out for vacations. You can go and just take a week off of business and, and just enjoy yourself and have time away and go to Cabo or something. That's where I'm going to be going. So um, just do it, guys. Just have fun. Get out there. You know, be happy. Do things that make you happy and stay blessed and, uh, and just learn. Every day, get a chance to learn. Um, read something, read something, read an article about a favorite topic of yours, you know, get acclimated to bettering yourself because the value that you bring is the only value that you give to yourself. If you don't build value in yourself, how is others going to see value in you? Right? All right. So this is it guys. Uh, join me next week. I love to be able to see you guys here again. And as always, remember you are too blessed to be stressed. I will see you again next week. Have a good one. Bye-bye. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found.